Hello everyone, in this video, let's create a login form using WPF with Material UI. By the way, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to our channel. So, let's get started. Open Visual Studio. In my case, it's 2019, you can go with yours. Create a new project, or continue with your own. Select the project type as WPF app with C Sharp. Let me name the project as Login WPF. Then press Create. To get a modern UI, let's install the Material Design Themes package. Go to the Solution Explorer and right-click on the project. Then select Manage NuGet Packages. After the NuGet Package Manager opens, navigate to Browse. And search for Material. Select this package. Choose version as 4.1.0 and click Install. Click OK in the Preview Changes pop-up. Wait for the installation to complete. Visit this site to copy the initial code snippets. You can find the following link in the description. Scroll down to Getting Started section. Select and copy this code snippet. Then, go back to Visual Studio and open app.xaml and paste the copied code snippet here. Go back to the site again and copy this line of code. And paste it here in the main window. Next, let's change some properties of the window. Change title to login. Height, 760. Width, 450. Now, add this code to change the font color. Next, delete the grid and replace it with a material design card. Then, follow the properties under the material design card. Add, uniform corner radius, 15. Background. Dynamic Resource Material Design Paper. Margin, 25. Go back to Window and include these properties. Background. X, colon, null, in between curly brackets. Allows transparency, true. Window style, none. Window startup location, center screen. So this will replace the window's default form to a material design card. Next, let's create a pop-up box to include some actions, like theme switching and exit app. So, create a material dialog host and set close on click away to true. Name, dialog host. Create a stack panel. And then, create a pop-up box with these properties. Horizontal alignment, right. Margin, 0, 20, 20, 0. Placement mode, bottom and align right edges. Stays open, false. 
height, 25. Then create a stack panel within the pop-up box. Margin, 16, 10, 0, 6. Orientation, horizontal. Horizontal alignment, center. Now, add a text block. Vertical alignment, center. Text, dark mode. Then add a toggle button. Cursor, hand. Tooltip, enable dark mode. Margin, 12, 0, 8, 0. Name, Theme Toggle. Is checked, binding is dark theme. Click, Toggle Theme. Include both of the elements inside the stack panel. Now, let's take a look at how the preview looks. Next, create a button. Tooltip, having trouble logging in. Margin 0, 8, 0, 0. Content, help me. Then another button with name, BTN exit. Tooltip, close application. Content, exit application. Click, Exit App. The pop-up box has been completed, so let's go into the next step to display the logo. Right-click on the project under the Solution Explorer, and select Add, and click Existing Item. Now, select your image, and then OK. In order to display the logo, add an image tag under the pop-up box. With margin, 0, 60, 0, 5. Source, your image name. Height, 100. Create a text block as the title with margin, 0, 25, 0, 5. Horizontal alignment, center. Font size, 28. Font weight, bold. Text, welcome back. Then, another text block with font size, 17. Font weight, semi-bold. Horizontal alignment, center. Text, log into your existing account. To enter the username, let's create a text box. With margin, 0, 50, 0, 0. Name, TXT username. Width, 300. Font size, 18. Material design hint, enter username. Border thickness, 2. Border brush, dynamic resource, material design divider. Style, static resource, material design outline text box. Then add a password box with margin, 0, 20, 0, 0. Name, TXT password. Width, 300. Font size, 18. Material design hint, enter password. Border thickness, 2. Border brush, dynamic resource, material design divider. Style, Static Resource, Material Design Outlined Password Box. Now create a button for login. With Margin, 0, 20, 0, 0. Name, Login BTN. Style, Material Design Flat Button. Material Design Shadow Depth, Depth 0. 
height 53 width 300 material design corner radius 10 font size 18 content login finally create a button for sign up with margin 0 20 0 0 name sign up btn style material design flat button material design shadow depth depth 0 height 53 width 300 material design corner radius 10 font size 18 content create account Now let's change the app color scheme to blue, so double click on app.xaml. Then, replace the deep purple to blue. Now, we have changed the color scheme to blue. So next let's program the theme switching toggle. Select the toggle button and go to its click event under its properties. Then, double click the click event to write some codes. Now import this libraries to your program using material design themes.wpf. Next, create a public variable name is dark theme. Create a private only palette helper object. Under the theme toggle button, let's get the current theme used in the application. Next, create a condition to check the current theme. If condition true, then set is dark theme to false. And set base theme to light. or else set is dark theme to true and set base theme to dark to apply the changes let's use the set theme function now we have completed the theme changing toggle Go back to the designing view and select button, BT and exit, and go to its click event under its properties. Then, double click the click event to write the application exit code. To make the window movable, let's create a mouse event. Protected override void on mouse left button down. Drag move, and done. Now we are almost done with the program, but before we start the program, some simple changes have to be done in the application. Next to margin, in the material design card, add a material design, shadow assist, shadow depth equals depth 4. Inside the material design pop-up box, add an opening stack panel tag and an ending stack panel tag next to the toggle button. Alright, now let's start the program.
So, let's see how things work out in the application. As always, you can download the project file from our website, link given in the description. If the video is useful, a sub to the channel would be appreciated. See you guys in the next video, until then, peace out.